Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here is my uh, 26th video message related to COVID-19. It's May 4th, 2020. It's 3.30 p.m. It's Town Council's Day. First, the number of cases. Still five cases in the MRC Code de Gaspé with a stable total of 169 cases for the Gaspé Zille de la Madeleine. So my video message of the day will be much the same uh, as the one I will be sending to tonight's Town Council meeting but focusing only on the elements related to COVID-19. At the Town Council in early April, I had made a chronology of the events surrounding the beginning of the management of the COVID-19 crisis. I will not do it again uh, in its enti entirety, but I can, assure, I can assure you that with both the Council and the Municipal team, we are continually in compliance with public health guidelines. We are not public health specialists. Public health leads and decides. We apply these guidelines locally. In April, I increased the contacts with many other municipal elected officials, with the Union of Quebec Municipalities, with, prime, uh, with uh, ministers, with cabinets, with the prefect's table, with CISSS and public health, and with several other partners. We spend our days on video conferencing or on the phone, each at our home. The goal is to coordinate our actions, share our concerns, influencing and align our decisions with each other. Speaking of decisions, uh, here is a timeline of the key decisions that were made in April related to coronavirus man management. So on April 6th, MRC sets up a telephone line for food emergencies. You can, again, uh, contact them. On April 12th, the government declares the cancellation of festivals and events until August 31st. On April 16th, the town of Gaspé makes its decision on how to use municipal recreational infrastructures that applies with, uh, uh, until otherwise. So on beaches, parks, playgrounds, promenade, bike path, etc. On April 23, uh, MRC announces a new business support program. On April 27, government announces plan to reopen school. April 28, government announces business deconfinement plan for the economy. And on 29, government announces plan to open regional borders. And throughout the month, the federal government has taken many initiatives to financially, financially support citizens and enterprises. So the town, the MRC and the governments are made with all decisions made within the mind that they must be progressive and adaptable. The ultimate priority is always people's health. Uh, so if a decision causes the disease to rise up, we have to turn back and back off. About the issue of the reopening of the borders of the region, there are preoccupations. But was there another so solution? Everyone has their opinion. I also have mine. But only public health has the expertise to make decisions. Only thing is certain. Since there will be no vaccine available in several months, we will not have the choice to end the confinement one day or another, to avoid other problems related to isolation or mental health. Uh, and we will have no choice but to learn to live with the virus alongside us. And so to apply the basic guidelines to prevent the spread of the disease. So should the region be reopened up as at this early time? Would it have been better to deconfine the intra-regional economy before opening the borders of the regions? Should we, go, should we go more gradually on the confinement? Is there an inequity between, between uh, opening up some economic sectors before others? As for the shopping centers, should there be an exception? Should we uh, open up the practice of certain sports or certain cultural events? Should we open a tourist season? Is there a risk of sending our children to school or daycare? Will there be day camps or playgrounds this summer? Does our healthcare system in the region have the capacity to receive a wave of infected people? There are dozens and dozens of questions for which all opinions are good, but we must rely 
on the opinion of the only recognized specialist in Quebec, that is the public health. And at the bottom, let's always go back to the basic rules. If we wash our hands for 20 seconds with soap, it kills the virus. If we do not put our hands in our face, we prevent the virus from, from entering our bodies. If we keep our distance from others, or if we wear a mask or visor uh, when we have to be close to others, we greatly reduce the risks. Uh, that's the basis for respecting it. The next public health decisions that we will be following closely uh, and that concerns us are what guidelines should apply for day camps and playgrounds this summer? Uh, will we be able to play tennis, softball, hockey or other sports this summer? And if so, how? Uh, what will be the plan to restart the cultural industry, libraries, museums, outdoor and indoor shows, etc.? Uh, what shape will take the tourist season of the summer? Will there be intra-regional promotion in the gas pay, supra-regional with other so-called cold regions? or national throughout Quebec or Canada? Uh, and what will be the protocols to receive our visitors? We'll know more in the coming days and weeks. Now, about our municipal construction projects. The signals are now green for the recovery. So our teams are lining up with contractors to activate the Ansel Giffon Wharf and Municipal Garage Innovation as early as the next week and in June for the airport. We continue to work very hard to complete the federal funding for the Riviera Rona Fisheries Capital Project and we are waiting for news from the Ministry of Education, Recreation and, Recreation and Sports on the new Gaspé Arena file. Before I finish, I would remind you that municipal elected officials are still in function and everyone focus on the situation but also on the usual municipal services. Your councillors and municipal employees are accessible even remotely. Until the other way around, the council meets remotely but all our sessions are broadcast on the web. If you, have, if you ever have any question, your councillors are here. I am here, the town's team is there, the phone is there, the email is there, and our social media pages are there. We are there for you. In addition, the municipal website contains all the relevant contact information to help you. Do not hesitate to use it. Finally, in addition to, be, to, be, to being vigilant about the risk of spring flooding, I reiterate my call for cautious and respect for the basic guidelines of the public health in face of the COVID-19. So wash your hands, no hands to the face, coughing in the elbow, uh, distance of two meters with others, maximum containment and attention to our elders, please. Also prioritize the local buying that saves the lives of our businesses in these difficult times. Once again, I, th I say a big thank you to our volunteers and all the essential service workers. Thank you for following the instructions. It's important. Every action counts. It's going to be fine.